Hi, I'm Ruthvika, and welcome back to Kids Spring Break Discoveries Day 5. Today, I'm going to tell you about human body facts. Did you know that your nose can smell more than 5,000 smells? When you smell a rose, for example, you smell 270 cents. Humans can create up to 7,000 different facial expressions, but there's four main facial expressions. Angry, afraid slash surprised, happy, and sad. Based on these, there are 7,000 facial expressions. Babies have over 60 more bones in their bodies than adults. The resolution of the human eye is estimated to be around 500 megapixels. The average human heart beats around 100,000 times every day. A person blinks an eye 15 times a minute. Your brain can generate through electricity to power a small light bulb. When you are awake, it generates 15 to 25 yachts electricity. Blood makes up about 8% of your total body weight. An adult's brain weighs about 3 pounds. You are going to be taller in the morning than night. Hi, my name is Rishi. I'm going to tell you about parasites. Paras- parasites are organisms or living thing that lives on or inside another living thing's body called a host for food and other things that it needs to survive and thrive. Parasites are small and most of them are even invisible to the naked eye. They have the ability to the ability to manipulate harm and even sometimes kill the victims that they that are many times larger than them. Two types of parasites, ecto and endoparasites. Ectoparasites are the parasites that live outside the bodies of its host. Endoparasites are the one that lives inside of their hosts. Parasites are further divided into several main species that can affect animals and plants. One of them, which is Ophiocordyceps, commonly known as the zombie fungus. Zombies are creepy creatures with zombie funguses are creepy creatures with equally creepy intentions generally infect that in that generally infect tropical ants residing on the treetops. Once they successfully penetrate the exoskeleton of the ant, they begin to take over its behavior behavior by hijacking its mind. Then then it take then it makes the ant leave it to leave its nest in search of a plant leaf that's favorable to the fungus's growth. The infected ant then sinks its jaw into a leaf vein and have no choice but for the fungus to kill it. And once the ant dies, the parasite fungus feeds on its victim's inner parts and after a few days sends a long, thin stalk through the ant's head that shoots off the fungal spores onto the ant's family below, ultimately zombifying them in turn. Many other species of parasites are known to control animal behavior, like the rabies virus infecting the dog's immune system, causing them to behave aggressively, the Gordian worm infecting the cricket's brain, and toxoplasma, which needs both cats and rats to fulfill their desire for family expansion. Expansion. In most cases, scientists are still trying to figure out how these parasites manage to control their victims' behavior, and even humans are unsafe from these creepy, creepy organisms. There are three main classes of parasites that cause diseases in humans, protozoa, helminths, and ectoparasites. Protozoa are, the, are one-celled organisms that live and multiply in blood or tissue of humans. Protozoa infect the body via mosquitoes and flies and are found in water and soil. Helminths that include parasitic flatworms, tapeworms, roundworms, and pinworms, etc. They dwell in the gastronic intract, blood lymphatic system, and other tissues. Ectoparasites, which includes ticks, 
fleas and lice, lice and mites that live on the surface of a human host and attach or burrow into the skin. Parasites are the most common life form on Earth. Scientists believe that over 80% of all living things are parasites. Parasites can have their own parasites, and those parasites can have their parasites too. Scientists called call parasites of parasites hyperparasites. I'm done. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Christian Madali. I am going to share to you about parachutes. So, I to start off, drag is a force that slows things down when they fall. The more air that is in the parachute, the slower it goes down. The bigger the parachute, the slower you go down. Parachutes are used for skydiving and some other sports such as paragliding and paraskiing. To skydive and use parachutes, you need to be at least 18 years old. So that's the end of my video. Bye guys. Hi, my name is Adamshi, and today I will tell you about Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. First of all, what are Voyager 1 and Voyager 2? The twin Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts are exploring where nothing from Earth has flown before. Both spacecrafts are still sending scientific information about their surroundings. When were Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 launched? Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are spacecrafts launched by NASA in September 1977. Here are some interesting facts that I learned about Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Both Voyager 1 and 2 include the Voyager Golden Record, which is a recording of sounds and images of life on Earth. It was designed to communicate with extraterrestrial life. After Voyager 2's successful Saturn encounter, it was shown that Voyager 2 would likely be able to fly onto Uranus with all instruments operating. <sighs> Closest approach to Jupiter occurred March 5, 1979 for Voyager 1, July 9, 1979 for Voyager 2. Closest approach to Saturn occurred November 12, 1980 for Voyager 1, August 25, 1981 for Voyager 2. Closest approach to Uranus occurred January 24, 1986 by Voyager 2. Closest approach to Neptune occurred August 25th, 1989, by Voyager 2. Voyager 1 became the most distant human-made object in space. The Voyager spacecrafts are the third and fourth human spacecrafts to fly beyond all the planets in our solar system. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts are tracked using the Hubble telescope. Scope. The signals from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecrafts are getting weaker day by day. The signal takes 13 hours to travel at one side at a speed at light. Th thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. My name is Darvik, and this is day 5 of Spring Break Discoveries. I'm going to tell you about senses that animals have. 1. Butterflies taste with their legs. 2. Platypuses and bats have very poor eyesight. 3. Bats use a sound system called sonar to find their way. 4. Snakes smell with their tongues. 5. Some snakes can detect the heat of animals. 6. Tigers rely on their eyesight to find their prey. 7. Tigers also rely on their hearing to find their prey. 8. Pythons are heat seekers that can feel sight changes. 9. Pythons can find their prey in the dark. 10. Tigers make their eyes bigger in the dark so it's easier to find their prey. 11. Ants can detect movement 5 centimeters in the earth. 12. Many fish sense their surroundings with the lateral line system. 13. Snakes use apparatus called Jacobson's organ to smell. 14. Sharks are sensitive to electric fields. That is all about animal senses. Hi, my name is Zarin. Back in day five, I'm going to tell you about germs. A germ is a tiny organism that causes a disease in a plant or animal. Scientists call these microbes or microorganisms. 
They are so tiny that they can only be seen through a microscope. The four major types of germs are bacteria, virus, fungi, and protozoans. They can invade plants and animals and people. And sometimes they can make us sick. Bacteria are tiny one-celled creatures that get nutrition from their environment in order to live. But not all bacteria are bad. They are found in the environment of Antarctic ice to boiling hydrothermal vents to inside your stomach. Most of these do not hurt us. Actually, many of these organisms are very important to our survival. Viral infection causes illness for a period of time. Then it resolves and symptom viral diseases and are not treatable with antibiotics which can only be cured with bacterial diseases and infections. However, the most common viral disease to, is the common cold and the flu. Are self-limiting in general healthy people. Alcohol rub sanitizer kill most bacteria and fungi and stop some virus Alcohol rub sanitizer contains at least 70% alcohol, mainly, yeah, kill 99.9% .9 of the bacteria on the hands 30 seconds after applying and 99.99 to 99.999. So, we take this, and then we put it on our hands. And then we rub, and then after 30 seconds, it's clean. A clean, now I'm going to tell you some facts about um, germs. A clean mouth has between 1,000 and 100,000 bacteria on each tooth. If that makes you squirm, consider this. The human body is a home, is home to some 1,000 species of bacteria. Research has found that when you flush a toilet, an invisible cloud of water shoots 1.8 meters into the air. Even 90 minutes later, contaminant water can litter nearby surfaces enough to make you sick. Thank you. Bye. My name is Varshiv and my topic is about space and facts about space. The sun's energy pushed away the gas in the solar system. The outer planets were rocky too, but their gravity captured the gas and made them soft. Mars has the tallest mountain. Jupiter's rocky core can fit 10 Earths. Neptune has the great dark spot. Scientists thought Mars had oceans. The Milky Way has 7 billion stars and 180 planets. The Milky Way is the part of a local group. The solar system was once a cloud of gas. And I'm done. Hi. My name is Sandy, and today I want you to saddle up for some facts about horses, donkeys, and zebras. Horses, donkeys, and zebras are all related, which come from, they all come from a group which scientific name is equus. Some mushrooms can grow on horse poop. Ugh. When a baby zebra is born, its stripes are brown and white, not black and white. Um, male donkeys are called jacks. A horse or pony that hasn't been ridden is called green. What? A foal or baby horse, which has a mother horse and a father zebra, is called a zorse. <laughs> Horse races have been one of the most oldest sports in the world. When a male donkey and a female horse get a foal, it's called a mule. Horses have one stomach.
cows have four. A horse, a horse's brain is the size of a baked potato. When a horse or pony shies away, it means it walks sideways from the object it fears. Hope you like our day five video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Salalu. Today I'm going to tell you facts about DNA. DNA is a material that carries out all the information about how a living thing will look and function. For instance, DNA in humans determines such things as what the color, of the color of the eyes are and how the lungs work. DNA looks like a spiraling ladder. Chemicals called phosphates and sugars make up the sides of the ladder. There are four nitrogenous bases in DNA, adenine, thymine, guanine, and chitosine. The bases are the steps that go down the DNA model. Human DNA contains about 3 billion pairs of these bases. Adenine and thymine are pairs. Chitosine and guanine are pairs. The order in which these, the bases are arranged is very important. It forms a code that tells cells to make certain kinds of proteins. The, different, the differences in these proteins is what makes different living things such as a cactus, a gerbil, and two different people different. DNA is a short form of deoxyribonucleic acid. It is in every cell of every living thing. It includes different types of cells. Um, every cell has the same DNA. DNA is found in structures of the cell called chromosomes. Both DNA and chromosomes are tiny. Scientists need to use very powerful microscopes to see them. When DNA works correctly, it helps keep the body functioning properly. DNA helps cells to make the substances called proteins, which the cells need to live. DNA also allows living things to reproduce. The genes in DNA pass along physical traits from parents to children. Sometimes there are mistakes in DNA. These mistakes are called mutations. Hope you like my research. So now I'm going to tell you um, what we learned and all like how we felt about these videos. Today's video is our fifth day discoveries. All of us had a great time researching and by sharing with each other, we got to learn more topics in a day. This made our spring break very memorable. I'd like to thank all our moms for encouraging us with the same thing with something like this. I suggest all the kids watching this video to try something like this to engage yourself in a good way. Thank you all and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!